So race nine is the Mariachi Fock listed chase. Uh, two miles, six furlongs here at Waitoy. The runners are as follows. Floats like a summer fly for Joshua Sutherland. Matching Gwedi for Leon Van Rensburg, the favourite in the nick of time for Joshua Sutherland. Eintz a Sobrabri for Darren Thompson. Belmore Stone for Pontypool Racing. Teasel scores for David Robinson. Access Prospect for Hems. Park Roller for Alex Cherry. Pure Force for Craig Beckwith. Rick Coronas for Alex Cherry. Capstick Oleander for David Robinson. Footprints for Leon Van Rensburg. And 13 is Lady Banks for Paul O'Neill. Over two miles at the six furlongs here. Start has gone away. We'll straight into the first fence. It's a very small water jump, and they're all over it. We've already got uh, two groups. There's a pure force, and it floats like a summer flight. It's a rail, take it up. And Belmore Stone and uh, Matching Goidy out wide. They get to the second of the 20, and they'll have to take all over it. And it's pure force that's going to lead us as it floats like a summer flight. Takes a keen hold. Belmore Stone in third. There are a couple back to rear Coronas in the nick of time. Park Roller matching Goidy. Further back is Aspect Prospectors in that. As they get over the third, which is on the bend, they're all over that. They swing left handed. Back of the course, it's pure force. From floats like a summer fire. Bel Belmore Stone, rear Coronas, access Prospect from the nick of time as they go to the fourth. We'll take that well. Park Roller, Lady Banks. No length back to Teasel Scores. Footprints, Capstick Oleander. Einsatz of Bravery. I all go over that and imagine Goidy took that to particularly slowly. He's right towards the rear now. But up front, it's pure force and floats like a summer fire as they go to the big ditch, the six. They've all taken it well. No length away from Belmore Stone and rear Coronas. And a further length back to Aspect Access Prospector in the nick of time and Park Roller. Get to the seventh. We'll take it well. It's a fairly good pace being set here by Pure Force. Looks like a summer fly just on his outside. Belmore Stone and Rear Coronas. They come to the next. It's Pure Force that's going to lead them over it. Next jumps it well. Matching Goidy. One towards the rear. Although there's probably 15 lengths between first and last. Still got a well over a mile and a half to travel, so it's pure force and floats like a summer fly. By about three or four to rear Coronas and Belmore Stone, the outside of there is in the nick of time. An access prospector, Lady Banks up against the fence, and the outside is Park Roll Up. Get to the ninth, the leaders are over it. Nice jump there by rear Coronas. So it's pure force and float like a summer fly, no change at the front. And rear Coronas and Belmore Stone as they go over the tenth, they're halfway through the fences. Pure force from floats like a summer fly. Rear Coronas, Belmore Stone in the nick of time. Access Prospector, footprints out wide. Lady Banks up against the fence. The grey, Capstick Oleander, Ainz, a sort of bra braids there. And wide down, so his park roller has over the water for the last time. And just at the rear is Teasel Scores and Marching Goidy. A mile and a quarter to run. Pure force for Craig Beckwith still leads us. Oh, he took a little chance of that. It was a poor jump picked on land and allowed floats like a summer fly to jump past him. As they swing left handed now. Pure Fox has been driven along again. Take it up. Joins floats like a summer fly. About four. Back to Belmore Stone and Rear Coronas. They've pretty much been your one, two, three, four all the way. Oh, we've lost one. Footprints has gone for Leon Van Rensburg. Bad luck. So one out. You know the horse matching Goidy is sitting pretty still. Go over the 14th. The leaders are out. Oh, we've lost another. It's this time it's Belmore Stone. We get over the 15th, so we're down two now. And it still floats like a summer fly and pure force that lead us. From rear Coronas in the nick of time now moves up into fourth. From now to the pack is Access Prospector. Lady Banks is asking for a little bit more now. Wide is answer to Sabra Break. Imagine Goidy's not asked for anything. Teasel scores moving up on the inside as they get to the 16th. Five from home. They're all over it. The ones that are still standing, but it's still pure force by a length now to floats like a summer fly. Running on really well now is Access Prospector, as well as rear Cronus in the nick of time as the leaders all get over that. It's about three or four lengths back to Lady Banks and Teasel scores. 
but up front with just three to jump and a final half a mile to go it's pure force and floats like a summer fire access prospector in the nick of time and rear chronos coming out of the pack now his teasel scores to throw down a challenge but didn't get over that well Ainsa Sobrabe we've lost Lady Banks but it's pure force that still leads here comes Ainsa Sobrabe on the wide outside floats like a summer fire between horses further wider now is is I think Capstick Oleander matching Goidy but they're having to go the long way round as we line up for the judge with two and a half furlongs left to run with just two to jump is pure force being challenged now by Ainsa Sobrabe that takes it up running out of the pack is Capstick Oleander they go over the penultimate and it's still Einzer Sobrabe now by a length from Pure Force folks like a summer fly access prospector wow wide, wide is Capstick Oleander he gets over the last bit he went straight through the top of it Einzer Sobrabe and access prospector do better on the inside as we come inside the final furlong Einzer Sobrabe still got a little bit more and starts to pull away inside the final half it's Einzer Sobrabe from access prospector running on now he's in the nick of time Floats like a summer flying rear Coronas, but they're not going to catch this winner. Einzis or Barabri takes it for Darren Thompson. Wins the Mahari Archie Fock listed chase. Poor jump there by uh, the leader, two out. Axis Prospector, but it's Einzis or Barabri. Wins it for Darren Thompson, takes it from in the nick of time for Joshua Sutton and moved up into second. Aspect Access Prospective, Craig Allen was third. Floats like a summer fly for Josh Sutton was fourth. And Rear Coronas for Alex Jerry was fifth.